Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 2, 36 to 40. There was a prophetess, Anna the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years. Her days of girlhood over, she had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God, and she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity, and he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. Living Our Purpose she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. God has created all of us for his mission and for his purpose, to serve him and to serve one another. What is God's purpose or will for you? Anna served God and man and did not stop when her husband died. She decided to serve directly in the temple then and did not think she was too old at the age of 84 to prophesy. She praised God and spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. After Jesus was presented in the temple, his parents took him to live in Nazareth, which was not the best of towns, and many did not see him as the fulfillment of the promise. However, during his ministry, Jesus said that his kingdom was not of this world, and he who believed in him will have life everlasting. Sometimes, people may not see the prophecies materialize in the way expected, but God knows best, and so nevertheless, like Anna, we are called to live out our purpose, serving God and others. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.